The hardest part of my day is trying to put on my socks. I don't need a rag to clean your clock. You'll never catch me dead in a pair of Nike shocks because my shoe game's all about Reebok. This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. I have some great video footage of my boy, Ben Alderman, hitting up a 285-pound snatch. But before I get to that, I have to tell you a little story about a guy named Gary Player. And i got to share a great quote with you from Gary Player. Gary Player once said, The more I practice, the luckier I get. Gary Player knew that if he outworked the guy next to him and the guy next to him, that he would become a champion. And he was 100% right. Gary Player knew that working hard and lifting weights, this is before anybody thought lifting weights was cool. This is a long time ago when they thought lifting weights was actually detrimental to a sport like golf and to sports like baseball and basketball, sports that took uh, a certain level of, of athleticism, they felt that you would be too muscle-bound. But Gary Player didn't listen to the naysayers. He listened to himself. He followed his gut, and he followed his dreams, and he did become a champion. Gary Player squatted 330 pounds. Now, that's not earth-shattering in powerlifting terms, but keep in mind a dude only weighed a buck fifty. And also, do you want to know when he squatted that 330 pounds? He did it the night before he won his first championship. He did it the night before he won his first championship. Could you imagine that? You got some sort of championship tournament that you have to go to, and the night before you're training your butt off like that? That is absolutely amazing. If that doesn't inspire you, then you ain't got a pulse. But my boy Ben Alderman is similar in some ways. The guy's out of his mind. All the, uh, all the crossfitters and powerlifters and stuff that I train, um, we all look at Ben sometimes and we scratch our head with the different things he comes up with to uh, destroy himself. Sometimes we say, sometimes we look at him, kind of shake our head and just say, you know what, that guy must really hate himself. Because why does he put himself through so much pain and torture? I mean, a lot of the CrossFitters out there are doing that. I mean, it's, it's a brutal, there's no way around it. There's nowhere to hide when you're doing some of those workouts. They are absolutely brutal and insane. But Ben sometimes takes it to the next level. Um, ben actually opened up a gym called Iron Mile CrossFit. And uh, Iron Mile, the Iron Mile is uh, Ben borrowing uh, the Rogue yoke carry from me. Uh, you know, the yoke that people use for uh, uh, strongman competitions. He loaded that thing up to 300 pounds, and he walked a mile. And every time he had to stop, he made himself do five burpees, which is just, just absolutely insane and perhaps ludicrous in some ways. But he's not thinking about tomorrow. He's thinking about today. You only get one today. He's thinking about training as hard as he possibly can for today to become better for today. And yes, you can, you, obviously you can overdo it. And you can overdo it so bad that you can't train the next day, and so on and so forth. But the point is, get after it. Think different, train different, be different. Enjoy the video. Come on, Ben, no doubt, no doubt. Here we go. Light as a feather. Yeah! Oh, well nice! Come on, Ben, no doubt, no doubt. Here we go. Light as a feather. Yeah! Oh, well nice! 